you're here with Fersi of Ledes Cre uh, in Erfurt at From Hell. Uh, and uh, yeah, welcome to Germany and welcome to Erfurt. Uh, very nice, <laughs> very nice to have you here. Thank you for taking the time to uh, have the interview with us. Um, yeah, my first question is, uh, you, you've been on, on tour for a week now. Mm -hmm. uh, how is it running? It's running very, very, very cool. Um, it's uh, the first tour, Atlantic tour for Ladies Cray. So it's, um, it's a big step for us. Yeah. Um, and a, a, a very new adventure that we didn't know with all the excitation and, 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 and fears mm -hmm. uh, Atlantic a tour for the first time can bring. But uh, we are very happy, we had a very good feedback, um, many people, and um, and yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to tour Europe and to be able to meet fans and to speak, that's, that's, that's really cool. Have you already had uh, a kind of highlight so far? I, I was surprised with uh, Bratislava um, mm -hmm. uh, in, in Slovakia, uh, because um, we had a lot of people and, and uh, I, I had no idea how the country would like because I've, ne I've never been there and, and uh, as well for the people there and the good food uh, which is important to, to tell <laughs> for a French guy <laughs> um, yeah but I, I think you know I, I so far I don't have any uh, you know um, preferences just just good good vibes everywhere just a surprise in, in Bratislava yeah we've just listened to the uh, new album mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. uh, here in this tour bus. Thank you for the opportunity at first. And uh, in my opinion, it sounded very different to the uh, yeah to the to the well-known Le Descre mm -hmm. sound. But um, it also sounded uh, like like Le Descre. Mm -hmm. um, but there are uh, many differences, like uh, yeah, some some electronic parts or uh, yeah, how, how would you how would you describe the new sound? I will tell it's um, the same music, the same feelings, the same uh, uh, intentions than in the past, just with a different shape. Um, when I started to compose the first the the, uh, the third album, uh, I I plan to make a third album just like the. The, the two first ones mm. and I was not really into the songs I found and, and what I produced was was okay but not what it was so so you know and then I um, decided to stop music to take some distance with mm. uh, with my music and to discover new ones new styles of music that I never mm. listened to like hip-hop music or or I don't know Lana Del Rey, Beyonce all this kind of you know mm -hmm. music that 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 are not not my taste basically you know but then i just grab some ideas there and there and, and ideas to how to how, how i could make my music um, sounding without losing myself you know yeah, of course yeah and 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 then i just i just uh, decided to um, to stop ladies Cray for a while and made a, a side project and uh, when i composed five or six songs for this side project then I just felt really free and very happy okay. with the results. Yeah. So in the end I just understood that all that I needed was having fresh ideas and, and an actual uh, motivation to make music. And um, going to new horizons and trying to discover mm. and, and to put myself at risk, which is the more important to me, to yeah. put myself at risk and was, was the, what all that I needed basically, you know. So uh, you you just wanted to have some some uh, yeah to take a, a fresh breath. Yeah, but the music is still the same. I think it's it, nothing has changed. If you take if you if you take just the music and add some distortion on the guitars and some double drums instead of in the in the rock drums, if you take this, then you you just have an old album of Lady Sky because yeah. the music is the same. Yeah, okay. It's just um, a new way to arrange the music. That's it. To be honest, for, for me it is uh, really, really difficult, or let's say I, I don't speak a single word mm. French. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, no. but uh, for me it is more about uh, yeah, um, recognizing the soundscapes you create, mm -hmm. uh, then it is much more important for me than the lyrics. Mm -hmm. uh, how important are the lyrics for you? I think it's like for most of the bands, it's spreading a message, you know. Mm. Um, 
spreading a message and, and that helps you getting into the music and that helps you think about life, about anything, you know. Um, I, I do understand that people uh, are not interested in lyrics because myself, I'm, I, 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 am, I, am, I don't know all the lyrics of all the bands I listen mm. to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just like the music for the music, you yeah, know, and the awesome. lyrics are just, you know, on top of this. I like the melodies, but I don't give a shit about what they say, you yeah. know. And eventually, later, I, I, I discover the, the meaning of it, and it, it, if it fits to what I had in mind while mm. listening to the music without the lyrics, then it's fine, and, and maybe if it's really different from what I imagine, yeah. then it's, uh, it's also fine because it's a new, you know, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's way. yeah, it's an appropriation of, of, of music. And what uh, what lyrical main topic uh, can we expect from the upcoming album? Mm -hmm. um, the the main topic of the album is um, humans as predators, humans as destructors, humans are as you know um, people who lost where they come from and mm -hmm. and. Um, it's an album about kind of, kind of about ecology, um, uh, and 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 it's a lot about the, the animal condition as well, and the, the the place animals should have and that that they don't have because of us. Um, you know, I I I'm, I'm, I've been really sensitive, and thanks to my wife, to uh, I've, I've been introduced to those topics of of animal exploitation mm -hmm. and and all this kind of stuff you know and uh, you know when i for ex just a simple example you, you know when you see this you know a car with leather in in it mm -hmm. what's the point at, at killing five cows yeah just to have yeah. le leather seats you know this is a rental uh, van you know but you know the point is yeah. i think at some point we, we have been very really too far uh, we don't need this in leather we don't no, need we to don't kill need animals to to, yeah. to just to sit to drive we, it could be plastic yeah. It could be something that doesn't involve living beings, yeah. you know. And I think it's uh, the same goes for so many things: um, the pollution, the, the 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 life going very fast, very yeah. very way too fast, and yes. it's going way too fast for me. We we have to to be efficient very quickly, and that's an album that takes time. Mm -hmm. We and everything takes time in this album since even the promotion the, 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 we, 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 we took almost nine months to develop until the, f the release which is expected to be in April mm -hmm. you know and we started to send songs to the to make them public in July 2016 and you know so yeah. it's it's a, it's a long time uh, I, I really want to, to slow things and I, I took five years to make it and it's fine because I think um, when you go too fast, you f you, 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 you forget things. You yeah, you don't you recognize things. Uh, yeah, as well. you, you you don't you know just um, go in a museum and mm. uh, in one hour mm. you you will recognize uh, rim about five paintings yeah. and and just w take one painting and sit on it in front in front of it for two hours mm. and then you will maybe eventually love it when mm. at first glance. You will have hated it, yeah. Because you get into details, you really wonder what, what is why, what is that, why is that, you know, and and it makes you think. We don't think anymore, and this is also the tr the problem we as I see with humans is that they just go very quickly. They don't look back, and we don't look back, <laughs> mm. and we don't look back, and and it's um, I think it's a problem. That's the concept. It's a tribute to life. Sounds interesting to me, of, of course. From what or uh, whom do you get your your inspiration? Oh, and um, uh, maybe now the sound of this album is different to the other other albums. Uh, did uh, the inspirational source also change with the sound? Yeah. What? Yeah. There are different levels of inspiration. You mm -hmm. have the, the the music the music that inspires me, and you have the events in life that inspired me mm -hmm. and um, I think on on both I have discovered many things mm -hmm. new music mm -hmm. a lot of hip-hop and just like I said a lot of um, simple very soft music 
Um, and uh, in life it's all those topics, all those reflections that I had in the train because I was walking in Paris and living in Lyon, which is the middle of France, mm, okay. the center. So I had to travel a lot in train and, and I had a lot of time to think about my life, basically. Mm, mm. And all those thoughts really um, ended up um, as uh, as a change fuel, you know, I changed ah, yeah, a lot okay. you know, because of this. Yeah. Because I basically this is why I, I speak about time. It's because without those long travels, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, I think I was traveling eight, ten, twelve hours every uh, every week, you know, in okay, train yeah. for like six years, and mm -hmm. and uh, you know I had really a lot of time to really think, really think. And, and we, if I was rushing, I could not have thought about all those points. Mm. It's only because I had time and I was stuck in the train that I could really <laughs> yeah. sit and think, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What was the most interesting story or uh, the most touching words you've ever heard concerning your music? Oh, there is one in my mind which is uh, very sad, uh, but that was the most um, moving one. Um, some guy from the US mm -hmm. um, who discovered my music, I think. I don't remember the exact, exact story, but he discovered the, the latest music uh, with his woman, wife. And uh, she was depressed and she killed herself. Oh. Yeah, she, she and, and, and um, he re re written to me a letter which was beyond what. I, I, it, I have chills down my spine just now, you know. It was absolutely be beautiful and very sad in the meantime you know and um, we kept contact you know and and the, the, the words he used and and um, the 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 very honest message he sent was beyond words I, I I could have I think what he told me was that my music really had, helped him to um, to be strong you know mm -hmm. and it, the music remembers him uh, his wife you know and that was very moving. Very, yeah, very. Moving. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very. What does Gladys Kreem mean to you and your everyday life? A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it 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 it's beyond what I expected from the music. Um, mm. uh, I I uh, it's it's taking a lot of place in my mind. Mm. Um, really a lot. Uh, a lot of pleasure, a lot of inspiration, but also a lot of stress, a lot of. Um, um, you know, I'm really uh, when I'm on something, I'm really focused. Like mm. for this album, it's five years in in the making. It's not released yet, and I I think about it, or the artwork, or the the, the concept, or everything every day, every time. Mm. It's like mm. it's like a prison, you know. And I really just wait for the album to be released, to be myself released, you know. Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of um, beauty and pain. A relation you know it's like it's giving me a lot and it's uh, and I give it I give uh, in the project a lot yeah, a lot of energy a lot of energy and you know but in the meantime see, it's sometimes it hurts mm. it's uh, it's uh, like way too much you know sometimes I just want to stop because I it takes too much place in my life yeah you know? yeah I understand yeah this is my last question uh, what would you like to tell the people outside there I have no idea. I'm, I'm not not that good at, at, at this. Okay. Uh, um, um, I, I would say take the train and, and think think about <laughs> okay. think about just take the time to think about what is really important to to you. Yeah. Basically, this is for me. That's yeah. That would be the best advice. Just taking the time to think about uh, your life, what it means. Where where it's it's going, and if that's really the 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 the, the, the road you want to take. For me, that was uh, a revelation to mm. think mm. this way. Mm. So uh, it's beca maybe because I'm getting older and wiser, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just um, that, yeah, sometimes you go you go you know you know like running running, yeah. and then <laughs> you take a tree and oh, okay, uh, where am I? Uh, what did I do? I did not mm. think about mm. 
why am I, uh, was I running? I don't know. Yeah, you know? that's right. That's, 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 that would be like the, the old man's advice. <laughs> <laughs> the old man. Yeah, the old man of uh, 31 years old. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then uh, thank you for taking the time thank for you. the interview with us. Yeah, uh, thank you for listening to the album. And yeah, the it was, was an, yeah, it was a pleasure for me. Cool, thank you. And uh, have a great evening thank tonight you. and a great gig. Okay, cool. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.